So this is the entrance to the treehouse and I really like how they've got it in between these two branches. It really makes it feel like you're going in to live inside the tree. But before we go inside, I'm gonna take a little sneaky shortcut and show you the outside balcony. You've got this great view overlooking the lake and the railway and the rest of the forest. You've got a nice seating area here if you want to sit down, have a cup of tea. And there's a really, really nice seating area out here if you want to have any lunch or snack. What I love about the view out here is you get a real sense of how high up the tree is and how big it is. So that was the outside, but we're going to go inside now where it's nice and warm. So coming into the living space, this is where we spend most of our time as a family so far. You've got a wood burning stove here to heat the whole room. We've just got another log in there now, so it's settled down for a bit. But when it's fully going, it'll keep you nice and warm and cozy. And I'll tell you what, once you get to this kitchen, it is hard to believe that this kitchen exists in a tree. Like, it's blown us away. We've enjoyed making food in here so much. You've got everything you need in your regular kitchen, plenty of storage. Fridge is hidden in there. Even a dishwasher hidden in there, which is awesome. That was the first level, but we're gonna go up to the next level where the first bedroom is now. Now this has got two beds in here. You'd maybe expect kids to stay here, looking at the size of the beds and the way it's almost like an adventure room. They put a little footstep in here as well, just to make it easy for you to get on the bed. And again, you've got like the best view possible just to look out of the window. So that's the first bedroom. Then we're gonna go up to the top floor where the big bedroom is. So this main bedroom area, loads and loads of space. They've got a big, big storage area for your coats or your clothes. Do you know what? I just keep getting distracted again and again every time I'm walking around here because of the view. You get to see absolutely everywhere. I really want to climb out there on along that tree branch. I won't though. A lot of animals live in this tree, namely owls, so I don't want to go disturbing any of them. So as far as the bed area is concerned, You've got a vanity table there, which Casey was really excited about because sometimes you stay places and they don't really think of this, but they've got it spot on here and a hairdryer too. And there's plenty of storage space underneath as well, which is really handy to get our suitcases out of the way. As for the bed though, here comes the big jump. Whee! The bed is comfy, plenty of room. Katie, of course, called the window just to wake up with the view. And I have to see the back of her head. The back of her head's pretty nice though. But yeah, it's just lovely to be able to wake up to and just the realization that you're here in nature like this. Moving on to the bathroom. Check out this bathtub, man. This is such a cool bathtub. So deep. It's so deceiving as well. Once you get in there, you don't realize how much space there is. But you dare come any closer and touch the tap. But yeah, Katie was straight in this the first night we got here. And it's really, really nice that you can just sit in here and relax probably get three or four people in here. These windows, actually one thing I'll tell you about, all of the blinds have to be kept down at night because the owls that live around here, the light coming out of here at night time could really disturb them. So we make sure all the blinds are closed every single night. We care about the owls. They're letting us live with them essentially. For the rest of the bathroom, we've also got a shower as well. I love these showers that we have overhead. It's just so enjoyable. And also we've got Dressing gowns both for the morning. So yeah, really love this bathroom. Plenty of space and just so enjoyable. Nice to relax in. But we look after the owls too. 